Russell Westbrook is the best player on the Thunder. But is Kevin Durant the best Thunder player of all time? Steph Curry is the best player on the Warriors. But is Will Chamberlain the best Warrior of all time? What about the Lakers? Magic Johnson, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, who's their best player of all time? Let's begin with number 30. Wait, wait, wait. If you're not subscribed, you're crazy. Make sure you hit that big red subscribe button. We're trying to hit 1.6 million today. Also, hit that notification bell to join Nodi Gang. So every time I upload a fire video, you're not going to miss it. Number 30, Memphis Grizzlies. Mark Gasol. There's not much competition because they've never had a superstar. His only competition is his brother, but Pal Gasol's best seasons were with the Lakers. So we're going with Mark. Washington Wizards. John Wall or Wes Unseld. Who? 16 points and 17 rebounds a game. That's who. But we're going with John Wall. He's one of the best point guards in the league. Toronto Raptors. Oh, that's easy. Vince Carter. Portland Tra- Wait, 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 wait. I almost forgot about Kawhi Leonard. One of the best players in the league this season. But Greg, he's only been on the Raptors for one year. You know what? You're right. I think in five years, the answer will be Kawhi. But it's way too early to call him the best Raptor of all time. We're going to give it to Vince Carter. Portland Trailblazers. This is a tough one. It is between Damian Lillard, Dane Dalla, or Clyde the Glide Drexler. Damian Lillard is one of the best scorers in the league, but Clyde Drexler was a 10-time All-Star with the Blazers. So as much as I love Dame Dalla, the answer is Clyde Drexler. Charlotte Hornets. Oh, they have so many amazing players to choose from. Where do I pick? Oh wait, no. Kemba Walker is literally their only superstar in franchise history. The only other competition is Gerald Wallace, and he's never averaged 20 points a game. You know how many points Kemba Walker is averaging? A lot! Los Angeles Clippers! It's between CP3 and Balake Blake Griffin. You might say, Greg, CP3's had the better career. It's obviously him, but... Chris Paul's best seasons were with the Hornets. So if I told you Chris Paul was the best player in Clippers history, I would be lying. Do I look like a liar? Denver Nuggets. This one is crazy. It's between Carmelo Anthony or Nikola Jokic. When Melo was in Denver, he was an MVP candidate. But Nikola Jokic is one of the best centers in the league today. I'm gonna go with, oh wait a second, neither of them, because the answer is Alex English, one of the most underrated players in NBA history. Alex English put up 30 points a game in a season. He didn't even shoot threes. How do you score 30 points a game without threes? Indiana Pacers. Is it Reggie Miller, Paul George, or Victor Oladipo? In five years, it might be Oladipo, but for right now, it's between Paul George and Reggie Miller. To be honest, right now, I think Paul George is the better player, but we're talking about Indiana. So we're gonna go with Reggie Miller. Atlanta Hawks, Dominique Wilkins. Well, actually, it's not saying much because the Hawks don't have that many good players in their history. Dominique is probably the best dunker ever. But dunking is only one thing. We're talking about winning games. So Atlanta, I know I get you guys mad a lot. I'm sorry. But I'm showing you some respect here, putting Dominique Wilkins on the list. Brooklyn Nets. D'Angelo Russell! I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. A lot of people might say it should be Julius Irving, but Irving's best seasons were with the Hawks, not with the Nets. We're going with another point guard and his name is Jason Kidd. What? He's never averaged 30 points a game. Why is he on the list, Greg? Jason Kidd is one of the most impactful players you could have. Not the player that scores 40 points a game, but the player that gets 18 points, 15 assists, maybe five steals, maybe five three-pointers, maybe one NBA championship, that's who Jason Kidd is. New Orleans Pelicans. Uh-oh, this one is going to be controversial. It's between Anthony Davis, one of the best players in the league right now, or Chris Paul. 
I think Chris Paul was the most impactful player for the Pelicans, but Anthony Davis is the best player. He's putting up some numbers that we haven't seen from a big man since Will Chamberlain. So next season when Anthony Davis is on the Lakers or whatever team, maybe the answer will change. But for right now, it's Anthony Davis. Orlando Magic! Oh, it's obviously Shaquille O'Neal, right? Um, actually, Shaq's best seasons were with the Lakers. He was only with Orlando for four years. So even though Shaq is a Hall of Famer and he's the better player, prime Dwight Howard with the Orlando Magic is one of the best big men that have ever touched a basketball. He was an MVP candidate, an All-NBA First Team, Defensive Player of the Year. I'm sorry, but it's just not Shaquille O'Neal. The answer is Dwight Howard. Thank you. Dallas Mavericks, Luka Doncic. Okay, so I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's obviously Dirk Nowitzki, one of the most impressive careers of all time. He beat LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, and Chris Bosh by himself. In my opinion, that's the most impressive NBA title ever. Oklahoma City Thunder. Uh-oh, is it Russell Westbrook or is it Kevin Durant? Here's the deal. Kevin Durant right now is playing better than Westbrook, fine. But we're talking about their seasons with the Thunder. So what was more impressive? Kevin Durant's MVP season, where he averaged 32 points a game, or Russell Westbrook's MVP season, where he averaged a triple-double. You might say I'm being biased, but I'm not. I'm sorry, but Westbrook is the best Thunder player of all time. By the way, I only put the Thunder at number 17. Can I get a like on this video for me not being biased? Phoenix Suns. We got Steve Nash, Charles Barkley, or Devin Booker. Devin Booker scored more points a game than either of them, but it's too early. It's way too early. Let's take him out. Charles Barkley won an MVP, but you know what he didn't do? He never won a title. Steve Nash literally changed basketball forever with his offense. When everybody was playing slow offense, he was fast-paced. And how could somebody win two MVPs and change basketball forever? and not be the best player of all time for the Suns. Come on, it's obviously Steve Nash. Minnesota Timberwolves. Kevin, um, well, it's Kevin Love or Kevin Garnett. Kevin Love averaged 26 points and 14 rebounds a game. Unbelievable. But Kevin Garnett was a way better defender. Averaged 24 points, 14 rebounds a game, two blocks, almost two steals, so we're going with Kevin Garnett. New York Knicks. Carmelo Anthony's back on the list. Patrick Ewing or Walt Frazier? Let's take out Walt Frazier. We just put him there to show some respect. Melo's best seasons were actually with New York. They just never made it far because the rest of his team wasn't that good. Patrick Ewing also averaged 29 points. He also averaged 11 rebounds. Four blocks! So my final decision? Carmelo, psych! Patrick Ewing. Houston Rockets. Oh, this is gonna get some people mad. Okay, our options are Hakeem Olajuwon and James Harden. Greg, how dare you compare Hakeem the Dream Olajuwon to James Harden? James Harden is averaging 36 points a game this season. When we look back, people are gonna be talking about James Harden's 2019 season. Hakeem Olajuwon won one MVP and is one of the best defensive players ever. It sounds pretty even so far, what's the decision maker? If James Harden wins MVP this year, there would be two MVPs in two seasons, more than Hakeem's whole career. Call me crazy, but I'm going with James Harden. Philadelphia 76ers. This is one of the hardest ones in the whole video. Allen Iverson, Julius Irving, or Joel Embiid? Oh yeah, I put Embiid in there, and now we're gonna take him out. <laughs> Julius Irving won four MVPs! Allen Iverson is probably the best player in NBA history to not win a title. Julius Irving, you got my respect, but the answer is Allen Iverson. Utah Jazz. 
Carl Malone, how could I forget a two-time MVP? He averaged 30 points a game. How often does a power forward win MVP? Not very often. Detroit Pistons. Uh-oh, is it Isaiah Thomas? No, no, not that Isaiah Thomas. This Isaiah Thomas or Blake Griffin. I already said Blake Griffin was the best player in Clippers history, but is he the best player in Detroit history too? Um, no. Isaiah Thomas, one of the most underrated point guards ever in my opinion. And even though he never won an MVP, he's the best NBA player of all time. Sacramento Kings. Well, the best Kings player is Chris Webber. But technically, the Cincinnati Royals were the Sacramento Kings before. And you know who was on the Cincinnati Royals? Oscar Robertson! Arguably a top 10 NBA player. Miami Heat. Uh-oh, is it Dwayne Wade or is it LeBron James? LeBron's best season with Miami was 27 points, 8 rebounds, 6 assists, and an NBA title. He also won two MVPs with Miami, but he was only there for four years. Dwayne Wade played 15 seasons in Miami. Three NBA titles, 13-time All-Star. I think it would be crazy to say anyone else is the best. San Antonio Spurs. Kawhi Leonard, Tony Parker, or Tim Duncan. Kawhi Leonard wasn't in his prime yet. He's in his prime now in Toronto, so take out Kawhi. Tony Parker, Hall of Famer, but get him out of here because Tim Duncan might be the best power forward of all time. Boston Celtics. Larry Bird or Bill Russell? Bill Russell has more rings than any other NBA player ever. He has 11 NBA titles. So if you just look at the numbers and the titles, you'll say, oh, it's easily Bill Russell. I would say, not so fast. Larry Bird changed basketball forever with his scoring. He won MVPs, he won titles, he scored 30 points a game while still getting 10 rebounds. When you think of Boston in their glory days, you think of Larry Bird. So we're going with Mr. Bird. Los Angeles Lakers. The hardest decision in the whole video. Kobe Bryant, Will Chamberlain, Magic Johnson, or LeBron James. I'm just gonna save you guys time. The answer is LeBron James. Psych! Oh, I just got so many of you mad. I'm kidding. It's obviously not LeBron. He's not in his prime right now. It's between Kobe Bryant, Will Chamberlain, and Magic Johnson. Will Chamberlain's best seasons were with the Warriors, not the Lakers. So let's take out Wilt. Magic Johnson is one of the most complete players ever. But let's look at Kobe. 18-time All-Star, 5-time champion, an MVP. And you want to tell me that player isn't the best? Nope. Kobe Bryant is the best NBA player from the Lakers of all time. Milwaukee Bucks. Oscar Robertson led them to their only title. Giannis Antetokounmpo. The greatest guy that I hear a lot, man. You know I love you, bro. It's a tough choice because Giannis won MVPs and Oscar won a title. But the answer is neither. The real answer is Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. He won six MVPs, bro. It's got to be Kareem. Golden State Warriors. Kevin Durant, who might be their best player right now. Steph Curry, who won two MVPs and led them to a 73-9 season. Or Will Chamberlain. Between Kevin Durant and Steph Curry, I would say Steph. When his career's over, I think Steph and Curry will be a top five player of all time. But... Will Chamberlain, with the Warriors, he averaged 50 points and 25 rebounds a game. He is the best Warrior of all time. Cleveland Cavaliers. LeBron James. The only other competitor would be Kyrie Irving. And even though Kyrie can defy gravity, it's still LeBron James. And number one, Chicago Bulls. You already know it is Michael Jordan the best player in NBA history. Last video, I did the best NBA player from every height. If you didn't see that, go watch it right now. I'll put it somewhere on the screen. That video was crazy.